Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. Once you have entered a work resource, you can adjust its working schedule so that Microsoft Project can then adjust the scheduling and use of the work resource as needed. When you create a work resource in the Resource Sheet view, you can then set the default working calendar for the resource from the Base Calendar Cells drop-down menu. In this lesson, we will examine making individual changes to the availability schedule of a work resource. To do this, first select the row within the Resource Sheet view that contains the work resource whose availability schedule you wish to edit. Next, open the Resource Information dialog box by either clicking the Resource Information button that appears in the standard toolbar, or by selecting Project and then clicking on Resource Information from the menu bar. Now in the Resource Information dialog box, you can click the Change Working Time button that appears on the General tab in order to open the Change Working Time dialog box. You can use this dialog box to make individual adjustments to the base work schedule calendar that has been selected. You can enter time off, vacation days, and other time that the resource will not be available to work during normally scheduled work hours by entering these items into the Exceptions tab. If the resource has a set part-time avail availability, you can enter the schedule of their work week into the Work Weeks tab. To create an exception for the work schedule, click the Exceptions tab. Here you can enter the various days off for the chosen work resource. To do this, you can click on the first day off shown in the calendar if desired. Next, click into the first available blank row within the Exceptions tab and then type the name of the label that you want into the Name column. Now when you leave this cell, the date selected in the calendar above will be entered as the default values for both the start and finish dates of the time off. Now if this is incorrect, click into either or both the start and finish columns to indicate the correct start and end dates of the time off from the project. You can then repeat this process as needed in order to enter any other time off for the selected work resource. Now, if you need to enter a custom work week for the selected resource, you can also do that in the Change Working Time dialog box. This time, however, click the Work Weeks tab. Note that the value of default is shown within the first row on this tab. This value indicates that the default working time from the base calendar selected is to be used for task scheduling for this work resource. If you wish to change the default work schedule for this resource for all weeks in the project, then you can select the default row on this tab first. If you only want to set a work schedule for a specified range of time, then click into the next blank row instead. You would then enter a name for the range of time into the Name column. You will then need to use the Start and Finish Columns drop-down arrows to set the start and end dates for the work schedule that you're about to specify. So in this scenario, the work schedule that you're about to create will only be used during the dates selected. During dates that don't fall within this time, the default schedule is then used. So you can either create your own or just set a new default. So next, for whichever schedule you're going to be editing, Click the Details button in order to open the Details for dialog box. Here you can select the desired day or days of the week to edit by selecting them from the Select Days list that appears at the left side of this dialog box. Now to the right of that area, for whichever day is selected, you can either select to set the days to non-working time, 
or you can select set days to these specific working times from the option button shown. Note that choosing the use time from base calendar for these days does nothing to the scheduled days. Now if you selected the set days to these specific working times option, then set the available working hours for those days in the from and to columns below that area. and just repeat that process for all the days as needed. When you're finished, just click OK, and then click OK within the Resource Information dialog box in order to save the changes to the selected work resources schedule. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.